Okay, Eagle Run 2-3 here. Uh, man, it is nice and cool in Texas. It is 70 degrees, and I am excited to be back in the garage. It has been so hot this summer, and I realize that uh, I just cannot be out here filming um, with the fans running. It just kills the audio. Um, I actually shot several things this summer, and every time I went to go edit them, I just could not use them. So some of those things I'll have to reshoot. Some of them are things I can't reshoot, but all that is uh, in the past now, and it has cooled off, and so we are on to our next project. So every time I post a video that doesn't have a Taurus PT-111 or a Beretta in it, it, they don't get any views, but I'm going to stay true to my channel description, and I'm posting things that I'm working on here at my workbench, and uh, mostly that's guns, but in this case, it's something else I think that you will find interesting. I've got an 18-volt Milwaukee impact driver. I did not realize about lithium batteries is that um, they cannot be completely depleted. So here's a little tip for um, for you. If you've got a cordless drill and it's lithium and you completely drain it and it won't charge because when you put it on the charger it says uh, battery conditioning checking and it fails and it won't charge the battery. I don't think that these two batteries are bad. What I think is that the voltage on them dropped too low and they won't charge in the charger. So what I'm going to do is I've just ordered... Um, this was a replacement and it's been my only battery because I ruined these two. So um, this one works. I'm going to leave it over here. I don't want to get them messed up. I don't have these marked. These are the two that will not charge. They have zero battery. They do not work. Um, and the battery charger says that they are no good. So here's what I found. If you take a jumper from a good battery, we're going to go positive and negative. Now we got 18 volts here, so it will spark a little bit. And I'm going to try to jump these to get their voltage up high enough that they'll charge on the charger. Okay, so black goes in here. Okay, so I tried to find my ohms meter and I cannot find it. So um, my first round test of just doing it for a short burst did not work. So let's try this where we just leave this on for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to let this set for about 15 minutes and see what happens. Okay, it has been exactly 15 minutes. Let's take this off here. Put it on the charger. Go for the best. I went ahead and numbered these. Number one is the good one. Two and three are the bad ones. Oh, it's flashing now, which is great. Let's see. <clears throat> it looks like it drained this one a little bit. This is a, a, a Chinese... Power Extra. Got it on Amazon, 30 something bucks, which is not bad for lithium. Plus, if I ruined it doing this experiment, it wasn't the worst. Okay, we've got it over here on the charger, and we are charging. That is a success. Oh man, that's so exciting. I thought I ruined those batteries. Let's let this one go. I went for exactly 15 minutes. We'll do the same on this one. Positive. A little spark there. We'll set that aside. We'll be right back. Okay, so I just had uh, number three hooked up for 15 minutes. I put it on the charger. The light went green. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let number two keep charging. I'll put number three on. But it looks like I am going to have four batteries out of this project. Um, although I did pay for all of them and I could have just bought four batteries. Two of my batteries were broken. So, so excited to have so many more options for batteries. All right, Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching.